In this video, we are going to see how to write a blog post for YouTube videos using OpenAI. So OpenAI is an artificial intelligence research and development company and here let's say that every time there is a new video uploaded on YouTube, so you want a description or the blog should be added according to the title of that video which you can get extracted through OpenAI and further you can share it on Google Sheets or Excel or any other platform. For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Now here your trigger application would be YouTube and your action application would be OpenAI. Now how can you do this and just integrate and automate this entire process yourself to understand that let me take you to my screen. To begin with the video we are first going to type the url public.com slash connect and as we click on enter we have here reached the landing page of the software. Now here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account with us simply sign in and if you are the new user then you will have to first click on this tab sign up. It will not take any time just two minutes and then also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now since I already have an account here I'm going to click on sign in. So now we have reached the all applications page since we are doing this integration using public connect software let's click on access now and here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Here my objective is to write a blog post for YouTube videos using open AI. So I'm going to name my workflow as YouTube open AI integration and now let's click on create. So as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. So here for every YouTube video we have to write a blog. Now my trigger application here would be YouTube. Let's click on this and now the trigger event. Now this is the event that will make your workflow start and here we have new video in channel with video URL, new comment on the channel. So let's say I'm going to go with new video in channel with video URL. Let's click on connect. Now here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the YouTube account. For setting up this connection I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with YouTube. Again here I have to select the account. Let's click on the account with which we have connected and now we have to provide it the authorization for that let's click on continue and here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here it is asking for the channel ID so it is probably it has automatically captured it and now if I take you to my YouTube account. So this is my YouTube channel so here you can see that these were the videos that were recently uploaded. So now let's say that we are talking about this particular video and the name of this video is the end of an era. So my objective is that with this title a blog should be written. Now taking you back to Public Connect here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as I do that here you can see that the last video that was uploaded it has taken the title of the video then here we have the video ID and then if I take you down so this is the published time. So we have received the information and this is the channel title. Now moving further I wish to write a blog with the title given here. So for this I'm going to choose my next application as open AI. So let's click on this. Now the action event again this is the event that will make your workflow execute. So here it will be to generate content. Why? Because I wish to generate a blog with the title that I have received above. Now I'm going to click on connect. Again here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. For this I'm going to click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection we need this token. Now to understand from where we can find this token we have to go and click on this hyperlink. Let's click on this. As soon as we do that here you can see the secret key. Let's reveal this secret key and now copy this. This is your token. Go back to public connect and paste it over here. Once done let's click on save to set up this connection. Here you can see that public connect and open AI software these are now connected. Now 
to understand what is this open AI software and how can it help us to automatically generate a blog for our title, I'm going to take you to my open AI account first. So this is the OpenAI website and you can reach here by writing openai.com and now here I'm going to take you to API. So as we come here, we can understand that this is a very powerful artificial intelligence software where you can perform a wide variety of natural language tasks, codex, which translates natural language to code and etc. Here we are going to use the content generation part of this API. So here I'm going to click on login. So once logged in here, we have reached the dashboard of the application where we can see certain tutorials, examples, how to build an application, etc. Here we have to go to playground. So here we are going to understand how this particular software is going to help us in writing different blogs and also the different settings that are provided here so that we can customize it up to the maximum length. Now here we can see that it is written write a tagline for an ice cream shop. This is an extremely interesting software. So let me show you how. Write a blog on title. So let's say I've written write a blog on title and here I'm going to provide the title which is positive approach in life. So let me correct the spelling of title over here, right? So write a blog on title and the title here is positive approach on life. Now let me show you some magic. As soon as I click on submit, here you can see that it has given me a blog instantly. And what is the word limit here? The word limit is almost 256 characters. And it has given me an extremely interesting blog. The, the way we approach life matters a lot. It can create either make us or break us. A positive approach can lead to a happy and fulfilling life while a negative one can make us miserable. So now the question is, how come it has created a short story? And can it create a longer one? Of course, yes. Here are the settings. Now let's see that First of all, we have the mode and then we have the model. So here again, we have got various models, but this one text Davinci 002 is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. So I'm going to select this one. Now comes the temperature. So what does it do? It controls randomness, lowering results in less random completions. Basically, you have option from zero to one. So as this temperature approaches zero, so it can become more repetitive. So now let's say that you want to control this randomness. So accordingly, you can set it. I'm going to make it 0 0.7. Now comes the length of your write up or your blog. So here this is the maximum number of tokens to generate. You can request uh, till 4000 tokens and uh, let's say that you just want to write a reply to the YouTube comments then you will have to go for a maximum 200 to 250 and if you want to write an essay or a larger blog then you can go till 4000 characters. Now here comes the stop sequence. So up to four sequences where the API will stop generating further tokens. The return text will not contain the stop sequence. Now here, let's say I'm writing backslash and double hashtag. This is my stop sequence. I'm going to add this. So then we have top P, so it is already set up there. And then we have frequency penalty. So frequency penalty decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim. So I'm going to make it as one. So which would make it not give me the same results over and over again. So now comes the presence penalty. Again, how much to penalize new tokens based on whether they appear in the text so far. It increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. So again, I'm going to make it one. Now here the best of basically it generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best. So let's say I have to select the best of three so you can also enhance the number. So now that we have understood exactly the setting part and how can we generate content, I'm going to take you back to public connect and here you can see it is asking us to fill, us the, fill in this information. Select AI model, so uh, it has already been captured. Now the prompt, what is this prompt? So if I take you back to playground and show you the view code. So now to understand what is this prompt, I'm going to take you back to the playground of OpenAI. 
Now here, if I show you the view code, so here you can see prompt, write a blog on title and we have the title. So basically this is your prompt. So you have to provide first the title and uh, before that write a blog on title. So similarly like write a comment or write a reply to the YouTube comment or anything like that. So now I'm going to just copy this part and go back to public connect and here I'm going to paste it once done now the title and you can get this title from this first step basically this is known as mapping you already have received this information now you're just going to retrieve it so going to step one here we have the title so this is our title the end of an era so this entire thing is your prompt now the maximum number token was 256 then we have the select sampling type. So the sampling type, we have options, temperature sampling and nuclear sampling. So here we have chosen temperature. So going back, I'm just going to go with temperature sampling. Now the sampling value. So again, what was it? 0 0.7, which is temperature. The presence penalty was 1. Then the frequency penalty was also 1. And then the stop sequence. So what was our stop sequence? It was backslash and double hashtag. So once we have filled in this information, I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now, as soon as we have done that, here we can see that we have received the API response. This is the object, this is the created time, then this is the model that we had selected, and this is the text that we have received, basically the entire blog we have received, okay? So this is the blog. Now, and then as I come down, so these are this is the rest of the information. So prompt tokens, completion tokens, and etc. So basically this means that every new YouTube video that is uploaded on your channel, so with the title, a blog can be created. Now here my objective is that this blog should be a part of my Google Sheets. So I'm going to click on add action step. And here I'm looking for Google Sheets. So here it is. So once we have received this, the action event. So action event would be to add a new zoo. Let's click on connect. And here Pably Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Google Sheets. And here it is asking me to select the account. So once we have selected the account, here it is asking us to provide the access. Let's click on continue to provide it the authorization. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now we have to select the spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet that I've already created. The name is Open AI Response. This is the title and the blog. So here would be the blog that has come automatically. Now going back to Public Connect, here we have to provide the title. So again, we are going to map the data. We are going to go to the first step and this is our title and then the blog. For this, we are going to go to the step two and this is our text. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. So as soon as we have done that, it is saying that, you know, the process is a success. Now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and let's see that yes, we have received the title and the blog. Basically, this means that this entire integration is a success. So now we are going to check this in real time. So again, I'm going to go to YouTube and here let's upload another video. So I'm going to click on select files, videos. We have this video. Let's click on this open. So as soon as this is done. So let's say the name of the title is Pably connect tutorial and then the description is I'm going to go down yes it's made for kids let's click on next again I'm going to click on next next this is for public let's click on publish so as soon as we have done that here you can see that this particular YouTube video has been uploaded now what should happen automatically a blog should be created on this title and it should be saved on my Google Sheets. Now I'm going to take you back to my Google Sheet and I'm going to just refresh this page. And here we can see that we have received another blog. The title is Pably Connect Tutorial and this is our blog. Now this has taken around 10 minutes to appear. Why? Because if I take you back to Pably Connect here, you can see that the trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So you will receive your response, but you will have to have some patience, wait for 10, 15 minutes, and then you will certainly receive the response. 
Now let's quickly understand the entire process. So our trigger application was YouTube. The trigger event was new video in channel with video URL. Then our action application was open AI. The action event was generate content. Then our action application, another one was Google Sheets and the event was add new zoo. I hope that you are very much clear with this. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow that we have worked on. It is there in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any advice or suggestion or you wish to work on some new integrations, you can always connect with us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.